The wallet by the car. Was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something, mister? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh-ho-ho! Oh! Oh, you know it. He's mad. Look at that cheese. They made it real obvious. Look at that smirk. See that? He wasn't doing that before. And he didn't, he rolled his eyes. Look at him. <laughs> Yo, I love this game. Yo, Rockstar's jokes. Look at this cheese. All right, now we got to go bad cop. We got to go. I, don't, I ain't got no evidence to charge him with, but we going bad cop, cuz. This man is looking like he's making the Bradley Bill mean face. <laughs> pack him up. Pack him up. High IQ move. How much money did you take out of that wallet, cuz? How much money did you take? We're going to go bad cop. We're gonna go bad cop, because I think he stole some money. <laughs> it's so funny how this man's face just changed in the middle of this. Yo, this is jokes. Let's go bad cop. Let's get it. Do you want the patrolman to hold you down while we turn out your pockets, Mr. Wilkins? Oh, Maybe I checked inside that wallet. Not that I was gonna steal anything. Maybe I took a look. But there weren't no money in there. Not even change. Hey, <laughs> so he did look in the wallet, but there was no money in there, baby. Wow. See that? He answered that straight, so I, I kind of believe it, right? The first three answers, he got a little ruffled there. His feathers were ruffled, but he might be good. I, I, I think he could be good. So the bloodstained pipe, let's do it. Yo, this is hilarious, man. We found a steel pipe with blood on it near the car. Do you know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I saw the car was full of blood. Damn, look at that answer. I went straight for the law. And he's straight-faced again. He's not nervous. It's so funny the way that man's face changed, though. So I guess we'll go good cop, because I don't really have anything to, you know, accuse him with. I guess we could pat him down, right? We could... That's what Costa did. He'd be like, yo, pat that man down, see what he's got. But clearly he didn't do that. Even if he did take a couple of quarters, whatever, we don't care. I think we'll just be a good cop and keep it moving, cuz. Why not? When you saw the blood, was it wet, bright red, or uh, darker like it is now? Darker, I'd say. Looked dry already. Thank you for your help, Mr. Wilkie. We'll contact your employer if we need anything more from you. If you have to, I guess. I can't really spend no more time over this. Somebody's got to inform the wife, Phelps. If you're done here, we'll head over there now. Okay, so it did say that we got the questions right. Look at that. And talk. Who are we talking to? We're going to talk to this cop right here. Look at his chains. We're going to notify the wife. You seem to have it under control here. Yeah, I got this. All right, so we talked to him. He's got it. Let's go let the wife know the bad news. We're going to knock on the door and let her know, you know, her, that man's out. And then maybe I'll let him drive. We'll see. Or maybe we want to listen to the dialogue. Let's see what the dialogue says as we head over there. So the black residence. Look at that cheese. 620 Bunker Hill Avenue. Look at that. Bunker Hill that man lives on. 620 Bunker Hill Avenue. You know where that is? Behind Bunker Hill. A couple blocks north of Central Station. So, what do we tell the wife? Play it by the book. There's no stiff yet, so let's see how it plays out. What do we tell the wife? See that? We were supposed to stop here. But it is a video game, so we're going to keep it moving. Wow. Could be a car theft gone wrong. Make Black drive somewhere lonely, then give him a tap. But why leave the car? Well, obviously, someone got a little heavy-handed. It's the wrong way around. Well, how so, genius? Where is Adrian? If you've gone to all the trouble to steal the car and it goes wrong, you leave the body behind, not the car. You got something there, Phelps. It doesn't add up. Officer needs help. We ain't got time for that. crossing yesterday no what happened over on Lincoln Avenue this guy is driving along and his oil light comes on he stops the car and gets out <laughs> he pops the hood and he's on a rail crossing oh <laughs> you got it 
He's got his head under there checking the oil, and the Southern Pacific Freight slams into his car doing 90 miles an hour. The car came to a rest more than a mile down the track. <laughs> what a pointless waste of life. You'll get plenty of blood and guts and mindless stupidity working traffic, Phelps. And who needs a Second Amendment when we'll give a goddamn fool the license to get behind the wheel of an automobile? If it's a kidnapping, why leave the victim's ID? If it's a murder, why leave the car? The evidence doesn't add up. Free lesson, Phelps. Evidence will only get you so far. You ask me, the whole thing feels hinky as hell. What I wouldn't give to have your powers of intuition, Murkowski. Don't worry, kid. Keep watching the master and you'll get there one day. Okay, so never mind. Maybe it is good to listen to what they're saying because now they're starting to, you know, point out the flaws and all this stuff. So it is good to drive instead of skip because if you skip, you probably miss all of that. So we're making our way over there. We're almost there, I think. If you let your partner drive, does it skip? I think it might skip. But we're here. So we... we we had the dialogue, right? We didn't want to miss any dialogue. That's why I was driving. But it wasn't that far, I guess. It's kind of, you know, a little bit of a drive, but we're here. But we're pulling up to the crib. Let's see what the crib looks like. Let's go introduce ourselves. You talk to her, Phelps. I'm no good at this shoulder to cry on stuff. Yeah. How are we going to break it to her? Just a minute. Okay. LAPD, Mrs. Black. May we come in? We have some bad news, and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. Oh, we can discuss this in the living room. Please come in. Ah, poor woman. So look at this house. And I guess they're going to let us look in the house, too. Look at this. Cell phone. We're going to have a look around. Then we'll talk. Oh, wait. I don't know if we're supposed to do that. We're going to have a little look around. Okay, there goes a the paper. Oh, now it's, it's vibrating. Alienist. Provides help to troubled vets. Mentally crippled soldiers find relief in clinical treatment. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this backstory. So we got another. It's been a while since we've gotten a newspaper. We saw a newspaper in that one store, but it didn't let us pick it up. So maybe we missed one or maybe I didn't do something right. But it looks like we got one right here. So let's see what this is about. Lie down. Make yourself comfortable. So... Your friend of Courtney's. Yes, doctor. He seems very concerned about you. I have these visions. These blinding visions. I can't get them out of my head. My skull, it, it feels like it's in a vice. I want to give you something to calm your nerves. Oh, what's this? I want to take you on a journey, a journey back. I want you to remember the good things about your past, the occasions that made you laugh, the times that made you smile. So look at that. Okay, well. So since we're being nosy, we might as well keep looking in the house. Kavanaugh's. So who brought this home? Kavanaugh's with a C. Maybe Adrian was a patron. R and I should have an address. Records and investigation can assist with your inquiries. Contact by telephone. Okay. Contact by telephone or it went too fast so I couldn't see what else they wanted me to do. Find a phone to call for an address. There is a phone right there when we came in. 
We'll go ahead and phone this in. Why not? Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Phelps, one two four seven. I need an address on a Kavanaugh's bar. Certainly, Detective. One moment. Kavanaugh's bar, corner of Aliso and Hewitt, south side of Union Station. Thanks for your help. All right, so we're going to make sure that we check this whole house. We're not leaving anything behind. Let's check this other room back here. We're in the kitchen. What's that? Do we got a safe? Is that a safe? Or what is that? Oh no, Insta Heat. It's not, it looked like a safe from up there. They cannot trust or corrode. They are guaranteed for 10 years. Gas line heater. So that might not be anything. Oh, I actually could have gone down here. Look at that cheese. All right, so let me flip it back over and go back down just in case to make sure we don't miss anything. Insta heat flyer is a new clue. See that? I didn't look at it before. So good thing we looked at it now. So now we got that. So put that back down and then we got some kind of receipt. How much did this cost? This was only recently installed, not two days ago. Maybe it's time we took a look around outside. Yeah, we might have to. But we still got to check the house because we're going to clean this house out. We're going to clean this house out before we go outside. But we couldn't interact with that on the fridge. Okay, she's in there because we don't want to talk to her yet, right? We want to. Oh, what's this? So nothing crazy here. Just a photo. Nothing to look in here. All right, so she's in the living room. Oh, we could just open up doors. Look at that cheese. Here goes another one. Okay, so now we got two. We got another photo and we got this. So we'll take a look at the photo first. Separate bedrooms, separate pictures. What gives here? Oh. Oh, wait, actually, wait, investigate further. My bad. So maybe they're a fake couple. To my Adrian, love sick and lonely without you hurry back. To my Adrian. This thing gets more and more interesting. So who knows what's going on in this house? This is some cheese. So what is this? This must be Adrian's. Oh, it's the glasses case. Stenzel. So the glasses are a match. Okay, so we got, we know that, that that's him 100% then. With the glasses at the scene. And then something just rotate. What's that? Oh, it's a ticket. A used ticket to Seattle and a suitcase gone missing. Someone couldn't wait to get out of this house. Hmm. We got some cheese. Will Smith would love to be in this relationship in the chat. <laughs> Jada Smith's house. Holy moly. All right, so I think we got everything, but we might want to. Let's see if there's any other doors to open. Maybe not. She's in there. We don't want to talk to her yet. But let me just go in here and see if there's anything to look at. To search for clues. No, we're good. What's that? What's that? 
doesn't give me anything to go on. Okay, so no idea why they wanted me, why that rumbled. And we got something else over here. This doesn't pertain to the case. So they got us checking stuff for no reason. They just want you to touch stuff. All right, so before we talk to her, let's go check that little heater, whatever it was, right? The steam thing. I think it was outside. Even the guy said it. Let me see if I can open this door. Okay, we can't. Okay, the door just opened, so maybe he went out through the other door. Okay, we're going to check this. We're going to the backyard. But what are we looking for? Let's take a look. Okay, here we go with this. Nothing is, is rumbling, though. All right, so we went through there. Nothing rotated. Nothing made a noise or rumbling, right? Nothing. Let's go check this side. Okay, what's that? Something is rumbling here. Oh, something's on the floor. Circumstantial. Circumstantial. All right, we'll leave that right there. And then we got some kind of unit right here. Okay, this might be what we need. Look at that. It's all messed up. No use leaving the thing half finished. The select a piece to pick up. So we're gonna we're gonna actually construct this back. Look at this, chief. I don't know. Let's try one of these. Yeah, no, take this like so. Or actually wait. There's multiple pieces, so maybe we need this first. Or wait. Like, like so. All right, and then we take this. Yeah, that's not gonna go there. But we, we're, they actually got us out here constructing stuff. Look at this cheese. Or actually, maybe not. No. That can't be right. No, that won't work. Okay, so actually we'll take... We'll take the one that's like this. We'll try this. Like so. And then, but I just put... Right, I put this one. No, that won't work. Because we put this one over there already. Let me see what happens. Okay, so now, oh, it wants to go over here. That makes more sense to go like that. And then this one is gonna go. How do you get it up there though? Or actually, it has to go like this now. That looks wrong. Okay, actually, no, you pull it up. Okay, because I was wondering, I'm going left and right. It wouldn't move. You had to go up to go like this. But look at that. We just put this thing together. We're missing a piece though. So the pipe missing from Mr. Black's heater is the same one that killed him, huh? Seems like the assailant is a little closer to home. Holy moly. So the pipe might be from his own home. Now that is some cheese. What do you think about that? Very interesting. All right, let's see if there's anything else that rumbles outside. Wow. And let's check the backyard too. Let's check all this stuff. Oh wait, we got another house over here or something. So they've got another like secondary house, a shed or something. Let me just check this real quick. Make sure there's nothing here. Okay, that looks like a shed. So maybe that is just a guest house or something. Look at this real estate. Oh, we can't open that because it doesn't have the gold doors. Interesting. Can't open this. All right, so I guess maybe now we have to go interrogate this lady. But her name is not Nicole, right? What was her? I forgot where her name was. We're going to have to look at the notebook. Because her name was in the guy's wallet, so it's not him. But let's go figure out what her name is. So there's some kind of plot. There's some kind of cheese going on in here. 
Your husband drives a blue Lincoln, Mrs. Black? That's correct. The car has been found abandoned, and I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. We believe your husband may be injured. We found a pipe on the scene with blood on it. Oh, no! My poor Adrian! Do you think you could answer some questions now, Mrs. Black? Of course. However I can help. Hmm. All right, so Margaret is her name. Wife of Missing. She didn't, she seemed a little bit worried, but not too worried, right? She was a little bit, but you know, maybe there's something going on here, but it doesn't look too suspicious. So maybe we don't have to go in just yet. Maybe she didn't do it and somebody else did. Who knows? We found a receipt in the trunk of your husband's car for a live pig. This receipt was made out to an F Morgan. A pig? Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. God knows what he's up to. Okay, so she just gave us a clue. F. Morgan is Frank Morgan. She doesn't look sus. She looks kind of worried right now. So maybe, and I have two intuition points, so we can save this for later when things get crazy. But I, I think we can be good to her. Right? There's no reason not to be. So far, she gave us something. So we'll just be good. Let's see what she tells us. What makes you say that about Morgan, ma'am? He's the foreman at my husband's plant. A very shady character. I've told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. They're always out drinking together. Hmm. All right, so now we have the bar. So Kavanaugh's bar. Maybe at that bar is where he uh, met that other babe, or who knows? Who knows? All right, so we'll go ahead and do it. Kavanaugh's bar. Your husband frequents Kavanaugh's bar. How did you know that? Adrian practically lives there after work. Ooh, she's getting a little bit sad. So she must know that he's out there letting it fly. She knows what her husband's doing. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, she's so far she's cooperating. So I think we can go with her. We can we can just be a good cop. She hasn't given us a reason not to be good. So we'll just we'll stay if if you're good i'm good you know the rules so adrian spends a lot of time there up until recently he's been away in seattle a lot on business oh he's been away to seattle on business from cali holy moly location of adrian black all right let's see what she says about this did your husband tell you where he was going last night? All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. Her face is still the same. Is she an Oscar winning actress or is she really just because she's doing good? She looks she gave us info. She's not looking sus. So I, I think we can take that as, you know, she looks like she's clueless. So I'll let it fly. So nothing out of the usual then? Well, he came home early from work. He never comes home early. And he went out early too. He normally never leaves for the bar till about seven. So how early? Photograph signed Nicole. Wow. Photograph sound Nicole. We also got the glasses case and the alibi. So the photograph. This is the interesting one because she because if she's a wife, right? How come she doesn't know? She has to know about this. So we, we might. Let, let, let's see what she says about this. Tell us about the photo of Adrian in the bedroom. What is there to tell? It's from his most recent business trip to Seattle. Uh-oh. Oh, she's starting to get a little bit. Uh-oh. That's the first time she made a mistake. That's the first time that she's, you know, ah, I might have to go get this wife. I might have to get this wife. Wife, I'm going to go in. I'm going in. 
I'm gonna go hard too. Cause that was she knows she she just lied. She just looked, she lied. We letting it fly. We letting it fly. We going in. Here we go. There's plenty to tell. You just won't tell it. You're lying about the photograph, Mrs. Black. You're incredibly rude and insensitive. But I guess you know that. I told you what I know about the picture. Ooh. She told us what she knows about the picture. All right, so maybe I messed up because now that I did that. Oh, no, wait a second. Maybe I didn't mess up because now that I remember, we do have evidence. We have the little message. She she had to have seen that message, right? Because how can you, right? You know that a, a wife is going to look at all the stuff. So I think we got to let this fly, right? Because there's nothing else to say. That's the only bad thing about accuse. When you accuse, you got to back it up. So we'll let this fly on the concealed message because the message, she's got to know who this Nicole chick is, right? She's got to know. So we're going to go concealed message. Let's do it. Let's let it fly. Are you trying to find my husband? What about Nicole, Mrs. Black? Was your husband going to leave you for her? I've seen the photo frame. <laughs> he thinks I'm stupid. But women sense these things. I don't know if he intended to leave me or if it was just a fling. God only knows. I only want to know that he's safe. Wow. All right. So the glasses, we know that the glasses are his glasses that were at the scene because we found the case. So we know 100% it's going to be him. So we're going to let it fly. So, so far, she's only messed up one time. Let's see what she says about this. Let's see if we got to go in on her again. Was your husband wearing his glasses when he left here yesterday? Yes. He just bought a new pair. He just bought a new pair. And she didn't do anything crazy this time. She Okay, she did just look down. But she's not like tense. So maybe we can believe her. Because normally she would snitch on herself like she did last time. She didn't do that. So I think, I think we're good here. Go on. I kept telling him to throw those old ones away. He tried to repair them with tape. They look terrible. Okay, so he's got some new glasses. Now an alibi for her. Where was she? Ooh. Where is she? Let, let's see if she lies about this, right? And let me let me just check the, the evidence real quick. Do we have any other evidence? Let's see. So the train ticket looks like, you know, Seattle. That makes sense, right? Going to go see or going out of town, whatever. So I think, I, I don't know if we should do, if she, I, I don't know if we should be a, a uh, right, I don't know if I should accuse here because I don't know what the, what the evidence would be. So we might, we might just have to go bad cop here. Please hurry. My husband might be injured. Well, what's our alibi? Let's see what it is. I think you should come clean with us, Mrs. Black. Your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances suspicious. Can you account for your movements last night? You're not accusing me, are you? Oh, what an awful thing to say. I was here all night, of course, waiting for Adrian to come home. Hmm. Hmm. She might be telling the truth because just like all the other ones, she didn't quite freak out like she did last time when she, right, when we questioned about the, the girl or whatever. She might be telling the truth there. Is there anyone who can vouch for that? Well, no. I... I was here alone. I cooked Adrian's dinner and waited. 
But he never came home. We'll keep you informed, Mrs. Black. Oh, wait, I got it. Never mind. Please do, detective. Never mind, we got it. They said we got it right. Holy moly. Look at the feet. Oh, it's a perfect, it's a perfect placement. That is the best free throw line dunk yet. I'm not on the line. That was beautiful. <laughs> Off vert, no dribble, just caught it and went. Just caught it and let it fly.